What's up Cigar Junkies? It's your boy Carson also known as Ashhead and I am the Cigar Junkie and today I will be smoking and reviewing the Punch Agro. This is the kickoff of a series of the Short Smokes. A kickoff of the Short Smokes. So for um the next five weeks I'll be dropping a video and I'm gonna call it the short smoke smokes and these will feature shorter smokes smaller ring gauges in some cases of some cigars that you can smoke right quick when you're on the go you're out walking the dog you don't have that much time maybe you're at work and you got to take a quick smoke break and you want to smoke a cigar or maybe you got time to stop into the lounge and you just want to smoke in the lounge but you don't have all day you don't want to smoke a church hill you don't want to smoke a uh, robusto or a um, toro size cigar you want to smoke something maybe in a rothschild or maybe in a petite well i'm going to give you five videos of those short smoke smokes and we're going to kick it off with the punch egg roll on ashhead tv today Guys, on this very windy and rainy afternoon, I don't have a whole lot of time outside. So, I chose one of the shorter sticks out of my humidor in order to smoke. Because I don't want to be out here in the weather very long. It's kind of cold. It's very windy. It's raining off and on. So I decided, hey, let's just go have a quick smoke. And we're doing our quick smoke with the Punch Egg Roll. One of the um, great things about this stick that I like is the brush foot. The brush foot is the um, very unique. It, it allows you to taste the filler and binder before tasting it along with the wrapper. I'll be lighting my cigar with my new torch, still new, only had it about a month, from Black Lion Luxury. Now when I'm smoking a brush foot cigar, I don't toast the foot as long as I would on a cigar without the brush foot. So guys, I just toasted just enough to get it fired up because usually that wrap, that um, binder and filler that hangs out from the wrapper catches kind of fast. And that's what you like to get hot first. The wrapper leaf, leaf in most cases, the exception is Connecticut, is usually the thicker leaf so it heats up slower than others. Excuse the wind, excuse the airplane, excuse the rain. Gonna smoke it now and I'll be right back. Guys, this four and a half by 50 ring gauge Rothschilds Vitola is taking off very good as i came out of that brush foot and grabbed onto the wrapper while i was smoking nuttiness um sweet notes of tobacco some nice woodsy notes crept into the cigar not a whole not not a spicy cigar not a peppery cigar just nice rich flavor notes that taste very well on the palate 
and also pairs very well with what I have been drinking this afternoon. Guys, I have here in this little aging decanter with a charred oak aging log is some rye moonshine. And it's been sitting for months and I forgot about it, pushed in the back of the cabinet and I said, oh my God, that stuff has got some color to it now. And I decided I would go ahead and take, pull it out and take me a sip. And what I discovered was it enhanced the cigar in an amazing way. It made those rich notes more pronounced. It made those coffee notes more pronounced. It made those like cookie dough notes that I was tasting more pronounced, that nuttiness more pronounced. And it also did something for my Rye Moonshine. It gave it a smokiness as I sipped it as well making it kind of feel more like a scotch by my surprise but that's just my little pairing this is not a pairing video um sometimes i like to take a sip and i just want to let you guys know what i was sipping on this afternoon but guys If you've ever gotten Chinese takeout, this will look very familiar to you. When I purchased my box of punch egg rolls, it was delivered to me in my little porcelain takeout container. The awesome thing about it, and look at me talking with the cigar in my mouth. Y'all ain't never seen a cigar reviewer do that before. The interesting thing about it, and I'm gonna sit this down so I won't break it. The lid converts to an ashtray. How about that? Guys, I'm gonna smoke this down more to the it past the second third and I'll be right back. caught up in this little cigar that I almost forgot to come back to you guys and it almost got dark on me but all is well second third of this cigar has been just as good as the first third the second third did introduce some pepper into the cigar in addition to that smokiness that nuttiness that still stayed into the cigar so a lot of the flavor notes have been somewhat of the same with the addition to that pepper in the second third of this cigar now guys the wrapper on this cigar is a u.s connecticut broadleaf and the binder on this cigar is a ecuador sumatra and the fillers colombia mexican usa all in the filler of this cigar which makes it a excellent smoke and it is very much so nub worthy and it's not too far from being a nub anyway guys the wind is picking up it is starting to rain again i am gonna nub this cigar out my smoke time on this little guy was about i start smoking this cigar at about 4 50 it is about 5 20 now i still got the final third to go so the smoke time on this cigar has been about 35 minutes and i have not been rushing the cigar so if you're looking for a quick smoke that is nub worthy choose the punch egg roll and you will not be disappointed ash head out